Welcome to the wild, wild west. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Guncho. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm going to playing through on my iPhone 13 Pro. Now this is one of those hex-based tactic games with a very unique twist. Basically, we are in the wild west. As you can see right here, here is the desert. Here is our Guncho person? I mean, I don't know how to fully describe them, but they have a gun and they're in a poncho, thus guncho. We can control the camera just by moving around. As you can see, we can take all the different angles to see how well we can actually play through this. Now, the thing we have to do is we have to destroy all of our enemies. We can only fire in certain directions. You can see the bottom here, we've got the revolver and where the rounds will be going. And of course, we want to make sure we don't get hit by their attacks. Each one of the villains, they have their own type of attacks. I'm currently, because I've only just really started the game, there are two villains. We've got this lumberjack who will be able to attack within one tile. And we've got the trapper who's able to throw a trap that people can walk into, if that makes sense. So we want to make sure to just keep a little bit of distance. What I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try and dispatch of this one. Bam. We've managed to get in close. If I destroy, see, this is the thing now. I could destroy one of them, but the other one's gonna attack me on their turn. So I'm gonna have to move out of the way. Now I'm wondering which way to move. I'm definitely gonna box myself into a corner if I move, so I'm gonna have to, it's the only option for me to go. If I move down here, oh, he moved out of the way of the Trapper, but now I can get rid of the Lumberjack. The Trapper's gonna move into place, and I'm gonna get rid of you. Bam, that is that cleared. We're gonna call our little burro and get the heck out of town. Select a new ammunition upgrade or ability. Let's get an ammunition upgrade. After a full reload, increase the amount of extra turns you get. After being hit by a target, increase the amount of adjacent units, a hidden target rather. And after unloading a bullet, increase the amount of bullets that are reloaded by plus one. Let's do tactical reload and see how that goes. So we have, we go through different levels until we get to the final boss. There are also all these different pitfalls, as you can see, within the level itself, before we actually load any enemies up. We've got the cacti we can't walk into. We've got the oil slick that will slip us over. We've got some TNT right there, just a barrel of TLT left out in the desert, my goodness. We've got walls, we've got fences that we have to traverse around. And we can also see, we do get an advantage, we can also see where they're going to spawn from. These little arrows, this is where they're going to spawn from. So we can set ourselves in a very tactical position to begin with to make sure we can actually maybe dispatch one straight away. So I'm gonna move into position here. We've got a trapper who's just appeared. They're gonna fire there, but I now have the option to fire off like this. So instead what I think I'm gonna do is, no, because they're just going to move forward. I'm going to shoot like this. Now, what seems like, oh, this is going to be easy because we're just pressing this. As you can see, we've used one of the bullets. We've used one of the rounds. But that's in the direction that happens. So how can I explain it? So you saw that I just fired to the left in this perspective. The revolving barrel, that's the thats the word I was looking for, the barrel goes round and then we've got an empty round up here, which means we can't fire there. If someone were to walk into our line of sight there, we can't fire because we've got an empty round. We do have the option to then reload at a little bit later date, but we want to make sure we don't get stuck in any way. So I'm going to fire off this one just to get rid of that lumberjack, so at least there's one less on the field now we've got ourselves in a little bit of an issue. I can't dispatch either of them. This actually worked out well. I can't dispatch either of them because there are no rounds in that direction. Of course, if I turn, you can see it's relevant to where the guncho is facing, if that makes sense. But also I can't because now I'm stuck because this guy has also got his own pistol He's got a bit of a range attack. The Lumberjack can swoop in as well. So I'm going to move down here. The Lumberjack has cleared. Oh! Okay. That was a little bit... That was a little bit... Uh, Jesse... What's his name? What was the one? Who got shot in the back? I can't remember. Jesse Ford? Maybe? That was a little bit of that, wasn't it? Managed to get rid of one of us for him. So thank you very much. If I perhaps move into space here 
I'm wondering if they're going to clear the gap there. Beautiful. Get rid of you. And then he's going to move into space to get rid of you. Bam. That's them gone. Thank you very much. We managed to unlock a new achievement on the burrow out of town. Let's go new ability. What abilities do we have? Push away a unit. Rotate the cylinder. And dash up to three tiles. Ooh, very interesting. Let's do the cylinder spin. I like the idea of that because we did get caught out when I could have used one of the rounds right there. So let's have a look around where they're going to pop up from. Here, there, and everywhere. So let's move to here and let's see how that happens. This is a free-to-start game. You do have the option to purchase the full game if you wish, but at the moment you can just... Hang on, what are they throwing? They're throwing some TNT. That's gonna have a blast radius, isn't it? Ah, gosh. Let's go down here. You do have the option to purchase the full game if you wish. And right now I am just playing through the normal difficulty, but that are also the hard difficulty and the daily challenges as well. Oh, do you know what I could have done? I'm gonna click on next there. I'm gonna fire the TNT and hopefully chain reaction. Bam, that got rid of a few of them. Beautiful. Now, I think if I just wait, could I just wait? No, I can't just wait. He's going to move in. He's going to move in. I'm going to move to here. Great. Now I've got more popping up. I'm going to move over to here. And what I'm hoping is, yes, TNT. Beautiful. I'm now going to fire on that barrel of TNT. And that should hopefully... Well, it got rid of one. It stunned another one. But it didn't. Oh, no. Now I'm flummoxed. Now I'm caught out, aren't I? Oh! Very nice. The TNT that he just threw detonated. Got an achievement in the air. Rightfully so. Detonated that and got rid of them. Okay, so I'm going to move down to here. I'm hoping he comes into range. Beautiful. So now I can dispatch of this one. He's going to move down. I don't have... Oh, am I going to put myself in a corner if I do that? I'm going to move over and see what happens here. He's thrown the TNT, so I'm just going to go bam, gone, beautiful. That's another round completed. Get in. So we have this sort of roguelike element where we get to choose the different upgrades as we go through for each level. Let's have a look. Let's do another ammunition right now. After hitting your target, increase the amount of adjacent tiles there. Oh, yeah, let's do that. I didn't even read the rest, but I like that idea of just setting fire to stuff. Yes, please. Okay, let's do one more of this. Let's see how we're going to go. Now we're surrounded. Now we are surrounded. Oh, goodness, 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 goodness. Where can we go? What should we do? Let's go over to here. I want to make sure I get away from these TNT barrels. Hang on, what's this goat about? What's this goat about? The Ram is a ranged character that moves multiple tiles per turn. He will charge at the player, pushing him back one tile and any unit in his direct path. If you can't directly charge, you will search for a better position. What's the... What have I done against the Ram? Why is the Ram not... Why is the Ram not a fan? Okay, I'm just going to get rid of the Ram because I think that could actually cause us a lot of trouble. Oh, no! Heartbreak absolute heartbreak let's have a look at that death replay i mean it was kind of i can understand why i stood in the way it's only a low it's only a low fence if that was a wall i would have been protected but it was just a low fence you managed to blast through it absolute heartbreak my friends, I'm going to leave it there on this little screen for you to see and for you to hopefully do better yourselves. This has been Guncho. Let us know down below. What do you think? Will you be giving this a go? Are you a fan of these hex-based tactical games? And what do you think of this one? What do you think of the Wild West element? I really like the graphics of it. It's got a really nice look. I really like the soundtrack. Of course, it is very reminiscent of Western genre as a whole. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all. And catch you next time.